you know, if you have a militant Islamic regime, either uh, the, the extreme, the, the militant uh, uh, Sunnis like uh, Al-Qaeda, or the militant Shiites like the Ayatollahs in uh, Iran, you can't be uh, you can't be sure that they'll obey the rules of the uh, uh, of nuclear weapons that have been followed by every power since uh, the advent of nuclear weapons. You can't be sure. In fact, they often say that uh, uh, about these fanatics that mutually assured destruction isn't a deterrence. It's a it's a blessing. They believe in this. Well, they think there are many. Uh, they, they're you know they, they think that uh, Israel is a one bomb country. That's how they call us. They, they uh, that would be a terrible, terrible. Development. You call it a clear and present danger for the world, and you went into very specific instances yeah. in which they could be used, either launched from missile sites, brought into countries, dropped yeah. into subway systems. So you were very, well, very. Well, they clear. could just put it in a ship and let you know. In a cargo ship. Yeah, it could come to any port, any one of your ports, and they can say, they can let you know. You know, we want A, B, C, and D. How close do you think Iran they is to getting use nuclear extortion? They don't have to directly use it. They can first extort you, and you can't have such a regime. You can't have ayatollahs toying with atom bombs. That is very, very dangerous. And the specter of nuclear terrorism will become real, and it would threaten. It would threaten all of us, not just Israel. It would threaten America. It would threaten America's allies. It would threaten the world.